Hello, my name is Michael. I'm responsible for the digital vehicle dynamics integration. That means we are simulating all vehicle dynamics relevant effects and design that in the early concept stage. We are here in the Falterbach. We see the DIM 250 right in my back. That's a state-of-the-art simulator for vehicle dynamics to get the real-life feelings for our digital world. On top of the base plate, we got the hexapod that enables us to move the whole cell um, up to 35 meters per square second and three and a half thousand degrees per square second. And we got like a nine meter screen with 4K barco beamers, five of them, uh, to produce a very accurate and fluent picture. On the simulator, we can reproduce pretty much every situation of real life driving, coming from driving around on town, on motorways, uh, on rural roads. And as well, obviously, we go to the Nordschleife or the Hockenheim Ring where we can test the cars to the limit. During a test, we got the measurement data where we can have a look at G's and how the car responds to the driver. The specialty of about the Project One cell we see here is we got like torque force feedback, torque machine, the full braking system from pedal to brake pads. Today we got Maro Engel coming round. He won the 24 hours race at the Nürburgring uh, in 2016, so he knows his way exactly around the Nürburgring. With a race driver, you got really reproductive driving, so you can constantly go into the same direction and same spots and analyze changes pretty exactly. They are used to drive these kind of performances, so they give you direct feedback and precise feedback. The beschleunigung is natürlich schon mega. Sitting in the car feels amazing. I mean, it's uh, it's such an amazing project, and when you pull away um, in the simulator, you feel straight away. You know, the, the huge power, um, very high precision. Uh, the car is really all about performance, and you can feel that, and it's uh, it puts a smile on your face. Coming down Dettinger at 350 kilometers an hour is is incredible. It's so fast, so quick, and still so stable at the same time. But it's obviously a lot quicker than when I'm racing my AMG GT3 down there. We're talking almost 75 kilometers an hour difference. Uh, it's really impressive. It's a project that's never been done before, running a Formula One powertrain in, in a road car. From what I've seen today, I'm really happy because uh, we made a good step.